Trail cam dam, what did he see? A beaver, a badger, a fox or a bee? Trail cam dam, what did he see? A beaver, a badger, a fox or a bee? Hello and welcome. Welcome to Trail Cam Dan. Right, today we're doing another review of a trail cam, but this one's special. This one's really special. This is from a company, Camojo. Uh, Cama, Camojo Jo. Camojo Jo. Camojo Jo. Camojo Jo. How do you say this? I don't know. Camojo Jo. And this is the trace. This is a cellular trail cam. I have never had a cellular trail cam before, so I am incredibly excited about this. I can have this out in the woods overnight, and if an animal comes in front in front of it, I can have a notification to my phone and watch live. I can see what's going on. I can download the videos straight away. So very, very excited. So thank you, Ca Camo Giorgio. For sending this to me. Firstly, best packaging I've ever had on a trail cam. Look at this! Look at this! They normally just come in boring brown uh, cardboard boxes. This is lovely. Let's get it out. Have a quick look. I'm going to be doing the main review of this after I've put this out in the woods. I want to. I need to get it out there, get some footage. So I'll take you along with me in a minute. But let's just see what's inside. So. Emptied the box. We have got a, cam a Camo Jojo <laughs> trail cam. There you have it. So that on top is not a solar panel, that is like an antenna for the mobile. I, f I find this incredible that you can do this. That's going to uh, pick up the signal and send it to my phone. Uh, on the front there, it opens at the bottom. No screen. No screen to show you what you're filming. This is pretty much all done on your mobile phone. So that's one thing. Um, can we open it up? No. You press a button there. That's where the batteries go. As you can see, I've loaded it up already. I need to change the batteries though before I go out because I've, put, I've got different ones in at the moment. I just wanted to show you what it does take. It actually takes 12 double A's. Now that's a lot of batteries but I can only imagine that's because um, this is going to be on all the time pretty much so I'm guessing it's going to use a lot of batteries. I use rechargeable batteries so it's not too expensive for me but I can imagine it would be expensive if you used normal ones so I would advise rechargeables for this one. Um, Eight in the front, four in the back. Stick that back in. And then all you've got here is a SIM card which goes in there, which comes with the camera by the way. You do get a SIM card already in with it. <coughs> you can only use the SIM card provided. You can't put your own um, mobile company's SIM card in there. It has to be this one. You do get a little free trial, I believe, when you first get the camera, but then you have to pay monthly or whatever, or yearly, whatever you want for your specific needs. Like you can have videos only and pay for 500 videos or something. Um, so it all depends. You'll have to look into that on the, um, on the plans available. You've got an on-off button, a formatting button, and at the back there, oh, you can hardly see it, that's a reset button. You've got a mount, screw mount there at the back. You've got a screw mount there at the bottom. And that is it, so there is no screen. So it is all about the app. So you need to download the app, which I have. I've downloaded it, but before I get into that, let's see what else you get in the, in the pack. So this is really cool. I've never had this from any other trail cam company included with a trail cam. So you can, let me see how this works. You basically clip it into the back of there, look. And then you can put your strap through the back of there. 
that's got a really good grip on it and then you can tilt it up and down you can't do side to side but you can tilt it up and down really really good feature i like that a lot on top of that you get a usb type c lead to get your your images off there uh what's this one that's a usb i don't even know what that is to and i haven't read the instructions or anything yet you've got to bear with me but you get this as well and then you get the actual strap which seems a very good strap a very nice it's very thin a very thin strap i'll say that a very long strap which is always good but the actual crocodile clip if that's what they're called is very it's plastic but it is very very thick very sturdy very big i like that so oh and lots of instructions by the way lots of instruction booklets so apparently i am the first person in the uk to be sent one of these um camo jojo i'm never going to remember that name am i camo jojo uh, are mainly in the us of a and germany but they're trying to branch out into England, I believe, or the UK. So I'm the first to review one of these over here. So I am going to get the strap on, get some proper um, batteries in there, fully charged batteries, all the same make, which apparently is very important looking at the instructions. And we're going to go out in the woods, set this up for 24 to 48 hours, leave a bit of food out. I'm expecting badgers and squirrels. And we'll see what we'll find. We might even get deer. We could find some birds out there. I don't know. But uh, yeah, let's do this. I'll take you out there and we'll discuss it a little bit more. Okay. So, I don't normally do this. And, you know, people, when, when you're doing a product review, people like you to actually know about the product beforehand. But do you really want another of them videos? This is so many megapixels. This does this. This is the specs. I want to. I don't know anything about this camera. I've never seen a camera like that before in my life. I've never had a camera where you don't have a screen. And I've never had a wireless uh, cellular one. So, what I thought I'd do is set this up. I've brought the instructions. And we'll just go through what it can do together live because that's what you'd be doing if you bought one of these you would be sitting reading the instructions and thinking what does this do so i'm going to do that for you so what we're going to do um i've got oh let me get my pen knife right i've got something i have actually got here in the woods if anyone's never seen my videos before i have got a banquet table for the wildlife oh i'm losing all my nuts i'm losing my nuts here it is which as you can see is fully empty at the moment i do put a trail cam there very often we have the squirrel and badgers and the odd bird coming here so i have brought two bags with me here now this is a mixture I'm just going to throw this on now to show you exactly what's in here. This is a massive, massive treat for the badgers and the squirrels and the birds, really. So look at this. Monkey nuts. In America, I know, you don't call them monkey nuts. I think you call them shelled nuts. Um, so monkey nuts. We have got peanuts. We have got a couple of dog treats. I just wondered if anything a squirrel might nibble on that. Be interesting to see. And a few um, hazelnuts. Just a few which I picked the other night and I ate one of them and it was gorgeous. But they're not quite ready and I thought it'd be interesting to see if the squirrel would like them. So wonderful healthy dinner for all the wildlife. On top of that I'm going to put a bit of bread on just a little bit of bread so let me just cut this up there you go a bit of bread on there and I think I've got some peanut butter in my bag hang on so there we are I've put peanut butter on I've tried to keep it to this side so that if it is the badgers which it probably will be um, eating the peanut butter they'll stand at this side rather than this side 
because the camera is going to be over there so that's all set up that is a massive treat for all animals don't you agree so we just need to put the camo jojo if you you know i don't i can't forget how to say it now because it says it on the front of the camera camo jojo i'm going to stick this here looking down there I might even move this slightly that way because on previous trail cams sometimes the light intensity has been a bit too much through the night so I might just move that back a, a foot maybe so we have moved him back a little bit camera in position what I need to do now is open this turn it on so these lights come on here you get a red one there and then you get these green ones come up here now whilst that's doing that what I'm going to do is turn on my camo Jojo app and fingers crossed the one camera I've already set it up you see um, is going to connect to this it will take a, a few minutes I think no nope, found it already found it already so there we go, the battery is 60% when I've put it out here the uh, signal is 100% look, that's good everything's good so I'm now going to close that and then we're going to sit down and just have a look at the app at the settings and at the booklet and uh, tell you more about it so here we go, the Camo Jojo, Camo Jojo, model trace, that's the instructions. But firstly, I've already learned quite a bit just from the app. So I'm going to go into the app, I've set the camera up, and hopefully I can connect to the camera. So let's just click on it. I'd like to go live and see um, if we've got a view live stream connecting now back at the motorhome back on the campsite this took quite a while maybe two minutes but it's probably a really bad signal there we go that's up in about 10 seconds you might be able to hear me in the background echoing on there so I'll turn the volume down now I'm looking at that it's not quite where I want it. I want it a little bit higher because if a badger's head goes over the top of that I don't want to miss it off. So I just want it pointing up a little bit more and a little bit more central. But overall I'm quite happy with that. So what did I say? Let's put that down there. I'll leave you looking at that whilst I'm adjusting. So let's go... No, I can't do it with one hand. Come back come back to me there we are very happy with that so it's pretty central um, we can see things trying to climb up the legs and we can definitely see the top if there's a badger tries to climb on it or anything right so it looks like my live stream has run out of data so I'm gonna to have to get on to the company and ask them for a bit more data for this now this is what worries me slightly about these cellulars obviously you have to pay um, per week, per month, per year, whatever you want the plan to do I really want it, I really want it because and I'll tell you why I can have 10 cameras out here in these woods and I don't know if anything I'm leaving food out there for the animals I don't know if anything's been to that banquet table I have to literally come here which is 20 minutes here 20 minutes back um, and I could have just wasted 40 minutes there with this I can just click live see that table and see if anything's eaten anything and don't have to come here so for me this cellular thing is a massive plus but can I afford to do this I don't know I need to look into prices and things at the moment I've got a free trial it says I've got a data plan valid for the next I've got two days left I think I think I had eight days or something like that when I 
when I received it. In fact, here it says, see all plans. So premium, right, it's in dollars. So $140 for the year, which is what, 120 pounds for the year. Uh, that's yearly. Monthly, $14.99 in dollars. Oh no, this is in euros, sorry. Right, so 140 euros for the year is about 135 pounds monthly 14 euros 99 which is probably about 14 pounds um is it yeah about 14 pound a month which is quite a lot of money i don't know if i'm willing to pay that i'll be honest with you you know i am reviewing this but it's the same with all trail cams it's not you know i'm not knocking Camo, Camo Giorgio for this. They're all the same. You have to buy a plan, which is fully acceptable. I wish I could put my own SIM card in there because I've got SIM cards I can get over in England unlimited for about £19. Um, but it has to be the SIM card which comes with it. So, going forward, I don't know what I'm going to do because I really want unlimited data on this we'll have to wait and see but let's have a quick look in the booklet in fact no let's throw that on the floor for now let's go back to the app and i want to go into settings and see what it can do so camera name Camojo trace i've called it uh where's a setting oh here we are look so Camera mode, I've put it in video. You can have video, picture, or picture and video. It's it's very similar to any other trail cam, but it's all got to be done on here because you can't do it on the camera. Um, image size, that's the biggest image size I could find, 5M and not 3M. So I'm gonna stick to that. Uh, video size, so this goes up to 1920 by 1080 uh, megapixels videos which I prefer for K but hey that's all right that's all right as long as it's good frames per second can you believe that has just fallen on my finger I don't even know if that's a slug or a caterpillar but he doesn't care it's just, it's, it's just fallen on my finger Okay, you're going to have to go off. <laughs> um, where were we? Sensitivity, I've got it right to the top. Nine, which is high. You can go down to zero. Uh, flash power, I've got it on high, not low. I've already gone through. This is interesting. I like this a lot. Battery type. Now... With all these uh, trail cams, they usually tell you which kind of batteries to use. You can either have alkaline or lithium. This looks like it gives you an option. Because what I do tend to do is put alkaline in any trail cam because they are uh, rechargeables. Uh, they won't last as long as lithiums, obviously, but if you put this into alkaline setting with alkaline batteries, I'm guessing that's a good thing. That is a good thing. I'm really, really happy with that. I've never seen that on another trail cam. Uh, water stamp, I do like that to be on. I do like to know the time, the date, etc. And there's something else I saw on here which was incredible. Statistics, here we are. So it tells you... Um, it's now the 15th on the 12th I had six triggers from the camera this is when I first got it first tried to set it up it took six pictures uh, species okay this hasn't updated earlier on it showed that most people most of the pictures were humans but you can have humans wild boar buck door it will tell you what's in the picture Temperature, it tells you the temperature, the the barometric pressure, the moon phase. It's incredible. 
So you do everything from the app, everything from the app. Now, let's have a quick look at the uh, instructions, see if we've missed anything. I think I said earlier, this company mainly deal in America and Germany. And I did get two sets of instructions. One was in English, one was in German. So this is the English. They even tell you their story, which I haven't read yet, I'll be honest. Um, right, what's in the box? Okay, so there were a couple of things. I weren't... USB to DC adapter. I think that's what I didn't understand, and I still don't, I'll be honest. I don't know what that is yet. Just going through this. Batteries. Using... Using life. Okay. So... If you had 12 AA batteries in auto, it would last two months. Wow! Wow! In eco mode, mode four months. In boost, 45 days. Well, I'll tell you what, it'll need it for about three, four days and I'm happy. So that is incredible. Absolutely incredible. It tells you about the SIM card, which I already know. The memory card, sorry, yeah, the memory card is actually built into the machine. You cannot take that out. It's built inside the machine. So, to get your images off, you can't take this SIM card out. You have to plug into the uh, trail cam and plug that into your computer and it will download the images. Or you can do it by Wi-Fi if you really want. Uh, USB connector there, mounting stand we've talked about which I think is brilliant. Now I've set that up, I've seen just how good that is. What else have we got here? Right, image sensor 3 megapixels. PIR range up to 20 meters, 65 foot. PIR angle up to 80 degrees. So it's not got the side sensors, which will get you under 20 degrees. So it's a narrower point of view. Um, but for where I've got it set up at the moment, that should be fine. And just lots more specs, telling you all about the specs. So 12 AA batteries, memory 32 gigabytes, which is plenty. You know, a lot of these trail cams say uh, 128 gigabytes memory. Who needs 128 gigabytes of memory, really? For 128 gigabytes, you would have to leave that in the woods for an entire year. I don't need that. That's fine for me. I don't need that. Um download the app there so you can just qr that or get it on google play yeah i'm not going to go into all this detail i've decided i'm just looking for something tells you all about the settings how to use the settings i'm looking for something i'm missing oh here we are right this is a big one. So when you get the camera, can you see the three green lights there? That's what you need when you first set it up. Um, but they can change colour. Now when I got this, I had a I had a red on the left hand side there, and it would not connect. The Wi-Fi would not connect. The internet would not connect. So all this tells you uh, what each colour on each of them three lights means so I got in touch with the company and I said I've got a red light here and I thought it was because this company generally deal with uh, America and Germany I thought the SIM card is not going to work in England so I was gutted thinking I'm not going to be able to use this camera turns out um, well she got back in touch with me she, he, I can't remember uh, I don't know what sex they were sorry uh, and they said, uh, try this, try that. If not, reset will probably work. And I pressed the reset on the back and it worked. So it connected. 
So massive thank you, really. I'll tell you something, nobody has beaten this company on customer service for trail cams. Uh, the replies to all the emails from this company, so polite, so thorough. It's not just one word answers. They go into massive paragraphs explaining everything to idiots like me and they've been fantastic for that. On top of that, I think, if this review goes well, <laughs> they are bringing out a, oh, a bird box camera, which I tried to get one of recently, but I got scammed by a company. Um, I paid for it and they actually sent a necklace worth about 10 pence and I got scammed but they're bringing one out and they're gonna send me one so I'm really excited about that as well but yeah amazing company to deal with so very very detailed instructions here uh, what you do find with a lot of these is because they are Chinese companies the instructions are sometimes pretty poor and sometimes non-existent but because Camo Jojo uh, sell in America I don't know if it's American company or Ch Chinese I've no idea but this is as if it's been written by an English speaking person and it goes into so much detail it tells you what your packages are there for your mobile data and it tells you how to transfer files to your smartphone and it also tells you how to share your photos and videos with others I'm, I'm impressed with everything, everything. But at the end of the day, if the camera itself is rubbish, <laughs> it means nothing. And we won't know that until tomorrow or the day after. I'm gonna just leave this here, let it do its job, let the animals enjoy this, because they certainly ain't gonna come while I'm here. And we'll come and pick this up tomorrow or the day after and then I'm going to show you the footage. Camo, I've, see if I get it right, Camo Jojo. I got it right, Camo Jojo, that's the company. I remember it now. Right, let's go away, let the animals enjoy and we will be back. So as I'm just about to leave, this is a, an old experiment we had. This was full of peanut butter and they are all dry nothing on them whatsoever the badgers have eaten that to death hope you enjoyed it yeah i just wanted to double test this so i just walked in front of here like i've just done now and then walked away it'll take a few seconds but i should get a notification on my phone saying something has gone in front of the camera there you are there you are i am loving this i've never had this experience with trail cams before so my camera um let me just try and get that shot up for you and here i am like i've just done now and the sound sounds incredible. I am going to love this. For me, it's all about the data plan. It's all about how much it's going to cost to use this and how good the pictures themselves are. That one looked really good. So let's wait. We want the animals. Let's come back in a couple of days. Is there anybody in the world as excited as me right now? I've had notifications from the uh, uh, from the trail cam, right? So we've had seven different videos. I've got it in video only mode. I've, I've, I've knocked off the photos. I'm not too bothered. I can see right here, it's a squirrel. Look at this picture down here. There's a squirrel hanging on. Let's play that one. Is it going to turn? There, look at that! Oh, that squirrel is going to have a party tonight. He has got the best food in the world. Let's hope there's a bit left tonight for the um, 
for the badgers or the deer or whatever else comes along but yeah squirrel is going to be happy i am loving this new camera so it has been 40 hours 40 hours i've had it out here and i'll tell you why i've had it out that long because that is how long it's taken for the food to go off the table now this is the only downside to this camera i've found so far oh, i'm out of breath hang on one of the best things about trail camming is the excitement of coming to collect your camera and seeing if there's any image on there you're walking towards it thinking i wonder what's going to be on that camera the thing is i already know what's on that camera <laughs> Um, because I've had notifications, which I'll go into when we get back So there's no no surprises for me here. Look as you can see everything is gone absolutely everything So this has definitely done its job. It's got over 300 images in 40 hours Some stunning things we have got The badger the baby badger um and squirrel mainly and a lot of mice through the night because they've been cutting the fields around here and all the mice have run into the woods from the fields so there was a lot of mice around here but yeah so far so good let's get these images home uh, get the images off this is turning into a long video I know but uh, it needs doing you know I'm not gonna condense it just because I might be boring you <laughs> Uh, it is what it is, so I'll get it home and we'll have a chat So let's get straight into the trail cam footage. There's just over three minutes. I've put in here Starting out with the squirrel. So this was only one hour after I left the Left all the food there as you can see the picture quality is fantastic. Notice the squirrel went straight for the hazelnut so he is loving it, he's having a party there. He was there for quite a while. I'm certainly not putting every clip in, there's 300 and odd clips. I'm just picking a few out for you, the, the, the better ones if you like. Uh, first things to notice, oh by the way, this is the starlight. This is eight o'clock at night before it's dark. And then the mice, and then the badgers. The mice cannot get up to the table, so they were getting frustrated. This is the baby badger, newly born this year, on his own for the first time. Every other clip I've ever had of him is with, there's four of them. Three like brothers and sisters, and one of them has had a baby, which is this one, who only appeared in the last few weeks. Yeah, these mice were getting frustrated. So yeah, you can hear a slight buzzing in the background. I'm not putting music over this. Slight buzzing in the background. I can only put that down to the fact that it is working off cellular, so the, you know it might have a bit of interference there, but it's not a problem. The actual sound quality of the badger, for example, you'll hear him eating in a moment. It is really clear. You can hear him chewing away on there. Now one thing I have noticed which I'm not happy with, um, whether you can change the settings, I'm not sure yet. I'm trying to get in touch with the company to find out. But you can only take 10 second clips. I'd certainly prefer, I like to do 30 second clips. But uh, you know, it might be possible, I can't rule that out. I just can't find it in the settings how you do that. So this is starlight again in the morning, so this is quarter to six in the morning. Really c clear footage. It's not 4K, it's 1080 megapixels, but really clear. <clears throat> the rabbits always come out about this time of morning. The, <laughs> the robin always comes in the morning. It doesn't matter what you do, where you do it, the robin always comes in the morning, the rabbits always come in the morning, and the magpies always come. But they're always reluctant to jump onto the table. And that magpie tried to chase the squirrel, and the squirrel was having none of it. Another bird at Starlight there. 
and then the badger was back just clearing up that table <laughs> I thought it was going to go over at one point I think I've decided this is a girl a female badger I'm not seeing any bits down there but I might be wrong really clear very 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 impressed with the quality of this so the Camo Jojo Trace what do I think of it I know this has been a long review but it's I think it's been worthwhile I've learned a lot from this I've never had a cellular trail cam before and I've loved testing this so massive thank you to the company for a start um, I'll just go into the app a little bit here so reading it 50% battery left it was 60 when I put it out two days ago it's gone down 10% and it's taken 343 images that is incredible that is really really good so especially if you're using rechargeables like I was you know you could leave that out there you could get it up to 100% leave it out there for months literally um, the actual footage incredible here's all the clip takes up there they are look there's all the clips so every time something went in front of that camera my I got a notification um, 10 seconds for a clip not long enough for me I'll be honest, I want longer than that. Whether it's capable of that, I don't know. I'm still waiting to hear back from the company. The actual picture quality, the sound quality, very, very impressed with. The data plan itself, will I use the data plan? Now, it comes with, I think it's a 14 day uh, free trial, something like that. It might even be 30 days, I'm not sure. Uh, mine's up now, I think it runs out today will I renew that? I've been looking at the prices for them if you wanted it for a full year all unlimited, I think it was £140-ish €150 Euros. would I be willing to pay that? I don't think I would you know, you've got monthly plans unlimited £14.99 that might be a good one to get but whether I take up a plan on it or, or not, it doesn't matter. You can still use it as a trail cam like I do with all my other trail cams. But the beauty of having the data plan, having notifications, as you saw, I didn't have to go back out to the woods until I knew that uh, banquet of food, which I'll leave them on that table, had all gone. So a massive plus for me is that. Plus, if there's a completely different animal out there, I can possibly get my camera, run out there, and try and get some shots of it on my camera as well. So, yeah, highly recommend this one. Price, have I told you a price on this? Let me just check that. So because I am the first person to review this in the UK, I can't find a UK price, but uh, they probably send it from Germany, quite easily orderable. Uh, 169 euros 99 so what's that 160 pounds in English money for a cellular camera that's actually very very good most of them are 200 to 400 pounds so impressed um, if I could change anything I'd love a display screen but with the cellular ones you don't seem to get it everything runs off the app you run everything off the app SIM card, I'd love to be able to get into the SIM card. I did have a bit of problem getting the images from this to the computer because it's a Type C and my laptop is an Apple Mac which is a Type C as well. They don't take the old USB A's. So I used a Type C lead with another Type C end plugged it in each end and it I couldn't get the it, it didn't recognize it so what I had to do oh I've put it away now I had to use the lead which comes in the box which is type C stick that into there and on the other end is a USB A then I had to use nope can't find that neither I'm not very well prepared for this am I I then had to put the USB A into a converter to turn it into a USB C plug it in and then it recognized it but I got there eventually. Overall, now I know about this thing, now I know how to use it, I'm very, very, very happy. Very impressed. 
thank you to the company once again. If you want one, I will leave a link in the description. Highly recommended. My first ever cellular trail camera, and it's performed even better than I thought it would. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one. You have a good night. Bye bye. Trail cam dam, what did he see? A beaver, a badger, a fox or a bee. Trail cam dam, what did he see? A beaver, a badger, a fox or a bee.